Except for Cody. <laughs> it's okay. I expect it. <laughs> the bromance is live here. We are also talking about the bromance. Cody and Barney are live. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm conversing. I'm still working. Oh, there we go. Uh, I, I see Colonel coming in now. Good evening, Colonel. Hey, guys. Yeah, I'm going to turn your mic down a little bit. You're loud. All right. No worries. All right. We can actually see the reflection on your screen, and it looks like you're playing Minesweeper or Solitaire. What? It looks like you're playing Solitaire or Minesweeper. No, that I was responding to text messages. But if you see the little screen behind me, it's all our little new Lily animations and stuff. I've got those going up there. I caught that. Uh, all right, I, guess, I think we're ready to get ready now. Everybody's here. All right, well, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. And I am very happy to be hosting this first AMA. Uh, did the mic get shut off? Oh, no, you guys can't hear me. Never mind. Okay, so I'm very happy. I'm very proud to be hosting this AMA for the Lillian Finance team. I have Brad, uh, I have Brad, Barney, Cody, oh, um, and Jay. So I'm going to be asking them a series of questions. But before I get into that, you guys already know, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, check me out on YouTube, Cool Crypto, where I cover Lily Finance and all the cool cryptos out there. So before we dive right into the AMA, just real quick, I want each of you guys to give an introduction to the crowd. So I know a lot of us know what <coughs> your roles are and what you guys do for the community. But starting off with you, Barney, go ahead and introduce yourself. Give us a bit, uh, a little 30-second breakdown of what you do and what your role is with Lily and Finance. All right. Well, my name is Barney Weicker. That is W-I-K-E-R. Yes, that's the first time I've said my last name. Um, I am the Chief Technical Officer of Lily Finance. I have over 30 years in the uh, information technologies industry. I ran my own nation, uh, international IT support company for 20 years. Um, for Lily Finance, I'm in charge of everything, technology, the direction we're going to go, what technologies we're going to use, and how we're going to get there, and then just support everybody and any questions they might have, and, you know, building the IT team departments to the department below us to support everybody. And, you know, I'm kind of the community outreach person sometimes, too. All right, Cody, let's switch over the mic to you, buddy. Talk to us a little bit more about your role within the Lily Finance. Everybody, any questions they might have? Well, my name is Cody. I'm lead developer. I've been helping Barney out on the back end for quite a while now, uh, kind of stepping in and helping out where things need. As most of you know, crypto is a very fluidic space where things change, and we're no different. So I've kind of been stepping in and helping out where needed, when needed. Uh, very quickly trying to help Barney whenever he gets sick and goes down and just happy to be here. We're glad to have you, Cody. Um, Brad, obviously you're the, the spotlight of the community, uh, the guy with the dream, a passion. He made it uh, a true reality for everybody to be invested in Lillian Finance. Talk to me a little bit more about yourself, Brad. Yeah, thanks, Cool Crypto. Um, Brad Beatty, of course, you know I'm uh, Lily's father, uh, first and foremost, uh, and founder of the company. Uh, Lily, former Lily, now Lillian, uh, moving forward. Uh, extremely uh, proud to be here with uh, everyone on the uh, first live, uh, ready to get inside and have some fun. Lily did want to join, but we were in a big car accident this morning, so she's home. Her mom was also in a car accident this Friday and totaled a car, so she's kind of shook up, so we're not going to you know, force her to come on, but she wanted to say hi, so I'm relaying that, and um, I can barely see the screen because my eyes are blurred out from all day at the hospital from them helping me, too, so um, let's get this going. Thank you, Brad. We're glad to yeah. have you, and, you know, I'm sorry for what happened in the morning. Unfortunately, things happen, you know, and there's nothing we can do about it, but, Jay, let's go ahead and move over to you, sir. Talk to us a little bit more about yourself. Yeah, really, thanks a lot, Cool Crypto. I really appreciate the opportunity to be here tonight with everybody. This is a banner day, you know, as we really we uh, step up and move into Lillian Finance and Lillian Bay Foundation. Um, just a quick background, uh, Jay, Lieutenant Colonel Winslow, a retired uh, Air Force officer, uh, intelligence officer, 26 years in the military. 
and just really honored that Brad trusted me to uh, run his foundation uh, as the first CEO and working hand in hand with, with him on the finance side to move this forward and save more lives. It's an honor to be with you all. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So that was the team. Obviously, there are many more people out there, but, um, you know, obviously the schedules are tight, so not everybody could join at once. But, you know, we have an amazing team. For those of you who don't know, um, stay engaged with the community. And then just every now and then, I know Brad, Barney, you guys are very engaged with the community as well. So are you, Cody? Uh, thank you guys for being available for everybody out there because I know it makes it a lot more fun when the investors are engaging with the developers. To try to get any questions answered, or, or you know, just just to kind of you know uh, talk talk on the lighter side. But uh, before we get right into the questions, is there anything that you guys want to talk about first? Yeah, there might be a couple things. Um, I think the first and foremost that everybody is really clamoring about, and they really want to know the answers, is no, we did not put in a bid for Twitter, and we're really happy that Elon bought it, and that you know we just. <laughs> Happy with that. <laughs> no, seriously. Um, as you guys know, we have officially made the announcement that we will be launching on Probit uh, Friday evening. I'm sure it's not the top tier one exchange that everybody likes, uh, but you know we're we're doing this our style, guys. We we're doing this slowly and methodically. Yeah, we we got a, a crawl, walk, run method that that we really um, drive home in all of our staff meetings on how we want to do this. Uh, we want to expand at an organic at an, at an organic rate, um, just because we feel that that's going to be the right approach for it. Um, so we are launching on Probit Friday. We're going to have an AMA uh, Friday night, a launch party. I don't know if it's an AMA so much as a launch party. Um, Brad's can get into a little bit about that here in a minute on who we might have uh, joining us on there with some YouTubers or the like. Uh, not that our Homegrown YouTubers aren't good enough. I love y'all to death. I'd rather have just you guys, but you know, you guys want more. Um, so we will be launching on Probit. We'll have an AMA uh, or a launch party here on the, this YouTube channel Friday at five o'clock Eastern Standard Time PM. Um, Brad, you got anything on some YouTubers for that one? Yeah, Ryan reached out. He's going to help us out. Probably can have Jose on Cool Crypto. Both of you is fine. And then we got one other guest person coming in tomorrow. Uh, as far as uh, marketing and YouTube itself we are speaking again wednesday to multiple i think upwards of seven folks um, to move that forward i will leave that there but friday's ama will have i will try to get lily in there also for a few minutes to say hi to everybody uh, along with myself and whoever else is joining from our team so we should have a big group so try to get as many people in there as possible possible to get a couple new folks too let's see you know i'm thinking we just have some fun with it and uh we'll send out some request if anybody wants to join us on the video for the ama we can send them a link and join in too i mean let's just make it a group party i mean you guys are all a part of this anyway so well, i'm totally going to regret saying what i'm about to say but you want to join us on the video for the launch party uh shoot me a message on twitter or in telegram and i just pretty much ruined my next 72 hours didn't i i'm going to be reading messages for 72 hours i wouldn't be surprised if you get bombarded it's doesn't surprise me one bit. Um, Every one of you should send him a message right now. I'm sending him one right now too. That's that's great. Um, so yeah, we're we're on Probit. We're again, it's baby steps, people. We're gonna get there. We've got a plan. We're executing the plan. You know, we're not gonna sit there and tell you a hundred times what we're going to do. We're going to do it, and then we're gonna tell you what we've done. Um, so that's that's the plan with Probit. Um, I'm currently using Probit. I'm learning it so that when we do launch on Friday, we're going to have some, at least from our side, we'll have some good tech support for anybody because we did, you know, we learned from the L Bank launch. We didn't do everything right on that. Um, it was kind of rushing, rushing, rushing. We didn't have the right marketing behind it. Now we've got the marketing team coming in with us. Um, so we're going to do this one a lot better. We're going to have a lot more fun doing it. Um, and this is just going to be the next step before we get to the next step. You know, you don't look at the whole staircase. You take it one step at a time, and that's where we're at. Cody, you got anything to say on Probit? 
You know, uh, I think the number one thing I keep seeing over and over and over again is, well, wait a minute, why is it not Binance? And that's all well and good. I get that. We're getting there. What's wrong with Probit, guys? What's wrong with it? What's wrong with Probit? Wrong with Probit? Every exchange is an exchange. It's just more eyes on us. Absolutely. You know, and it's I'm just like bears in the industry. That's just Definitely. like when we when we put it out there on EverSwap. You know, it's not an exchange per se, but it's other ways for people to get out there and, and buy the, the LY token, uh, which we are, by the way, we'll get into the rebranding here in a minute, but we are keeping the token symbol. I, I've seen and some also, Probit is global. I mean, they started at, what, 2 o'clock this morning, shooting off uh, in Indonesia? Yeah, because my phone started going off at 2.01 once they put that release out, and we hadn't told anybody. So, yeah, no, it was 2 o'clock. So it's a good reach. It's just more eyes on us. Um, so... There we are with the probit. Unless anybody has anything else, you got anything well, about if, Yeah, if anything, I'll piggyback on that because the exposure is here and it's going to continue to grow. Obviously, with different uh, exchanges, uh, you know, as as we come along. But one of the things that I always preach about in some of my videos is health and consistent growth will keep us in this race for the long term. We don't need a project that's going to ultimately pump and then the next day dump where we're seeing price action down 150 percent you know we, we don't need none of that so one of the things that i always talk about is we're here for the long term and health and consistent growth is what we're looking for which i praise you guys on that thank you so next i guess we talk about the elephant in the room here rebranding yeah we we did it we are lillian finance now and lillian bay foundation um, I've been watching Telegram, I've watching Twitter. Um, a lot of people have hit the nail right on the head. There is an 800-pound gorilla in the room in the United States. They are a large pharmaceutical company, and they are known as Eli. And they have, they're a great company. You know, I'm not saying anything bad about them. But they have a definite advantage over us in the fact that they're much larger than we are. And we just... Working with the marketing company, working within our own team uh, internally, it seemed like this was the right time to grow, expand, whatever you want to call, but uh, mature the company and segue away from any potential future naming conflicts we might have with that large company. Um, I myself like Lillian. I think it's a beautiful name. I, I I think it translates very well. Um, there was no, <clears throat> it just was the right time. I mean, that's the only way to say it. We are, we see there's the potential conflict in names going forward, especially on the foundation side of it, because they also have their own foundations. So we wanted to not separate ourselves from them, anything like that, but individualize ourselves and not have any conflict in the future and the best way to do that was to take the chance right now while we're still small enough to do it and turn ourselves and grow ourselves from lily to lily uh brad you you want to throw yeah. something yeah and a lot of research goes in into the the names and how things are rolled out and and, and avoiding future conflicts as we grow into working and doing their investigations and planning this stuff out for us and we've hashed out a bunch of things this last couple of weeks. As the marketing team came in, it was the perfect time to segue to that new branding and solidify. Also, you know, one thing on the roadmap was to get the 501 blockchain space, filed healthcare. Out. This is a, a long term play with legal involved, and there's multiple lawyers on our end working and doing their investigations and planning this stuff out for us. And we've hashed out a bunch of things this last couple of weeks. As the marketing team came in, it was the perfect time to segue to that new new branding and solidify. Also, you know, one, one thing on the roadmap was to get the five hundred one c three. All right, switching them over. Done. Switch them over and make sure see if I ain't got any hiccup. Take legal advice and, and advisement and, and counsel to heart, and we changed. Also, Lily's name is Lillian. Truthfully, on her birth certificate, but as a company growing up throughout blockchain and software. 
and wherever else we branch out to. This is a very, very wise move as, as we're just in infancy stages that'll uh, continue to benefit the holders for years to come so we don't have to do any brand changes uh, later on. Um, multiple companies do do brand changes. I mean, even like UPS does it all the time, every three to five years. They change something constantly, um, even though their color is the same. But a lot of companies do migrate. Um, some stay the same, but it's normal business, guys. So I like it. And Jay, you, of course, with the Lillian Bay Foundation, doesn't that just kind of roll off your tongue a little bit better? Yeah, it actually does. I, I really like um, the difference in the naming convention. Uh, it gives us a little separation. And, you know, as we as we part ways, but we also maintain our tie to the parent company, uh, Lillian Finance. You, you know, go ahead and also subscribe the to the of, channel of, over of here. Lillian herself. Yeah, um, that's her actual channel. name, Lillian Bay. And, you know, maintaining the whole point of why we established China this foundation. Is born, the whole point of establishing this foundation was to save children's lives. Company, and that's what Lily we're doing. Finance, and channel. this, I think, more accurately portrays what we're trying to do. I agree. I agree a lot. Thank you. Cool. I mean, Cody, I'm sorry. I forgot you. <laughs> Cody, do you have thoughts? I like it. I mean. See, this is why we don't let him talk, people. You get two thumbs of approval from me, Lily, and it's a beautiful name. And then on top of that, I don't know. My The big thing that I've been seeing on social media all day is that there's going to be some investor confusion where Lillian's concerned. And I don't know. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Personally, I, I think that it's pretty self-explanatory. And that's the reason for the AMA is we're out here answering questions, trying to make ourselves available so that, you know, we can talk to the investors, kind of get on the same page, explain why things are the way they are. That's our job. That's the reason why, you know, y'all are still here or why you're investing. Yeah, I can add to that, Cody, the investor confusion, the mark you see in the corner of the screen, our, our mark, as far as our symbol logo will is not changing. Our ticker is not changing. Our color, our, our, our color and fonts and all that, our, all the, all of that is not changing. Um, all that stays on brand. So uh, investor, I don't know. It's just honestly the name got longer by a few. So, so well, go I learned a couple new letters. Going forward, we're the Lillian tribe. But everybody was here before that. We're still OG Lily tribe, y'all. So if I slip up, you know, I'm just speaking to y'all out of love when I call you Lily tribe. When I yeah. Lily. And back to Eli Lilly, they helped actually were one of the families, top families on the island that helped us, helped my little girl. They were personally involved. So there's, yeah. you know, that's, I'm still friends with them to this, to these folks to this day. So, I mean, bottom line, we're the same company doing the same thing, developing blockchain to transcend medical technologies, guys. It's the same thing. I think, I believe some of the medicines that they do mm -hmm. create help the children we help so i just mm -hmm. i'm not gonna i can't don't quote me on it <laughs> yep. they, 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 their their list is a mile long on what yeah. they do. <laughs> it's, it's 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 tremendous i think that and in the branding we will continue as far as the last piece of branding that i have we will continue the number 45 car talladega ran uh caesar Baccarella did have an accident he is okay i spoke with him today i was going through the whole back and forth on his point of view from the driver which is kind of funny how he he described the accident and then i got in an accident but it was kind of he was making fun of me but uh that branding will stay the same and the other car will come out as scheduled but it's already wrapped we're not changing it you know it is what it is till we brand next year or reduce things those cars are going to stay wrapped um and i did get a sneak peek of the actual the other car coming out i'm excited so are we sure you weren't practicing for Talladega next year, Brad? <laughs> oh, no. Hey, buddy. I'm, I was going yeah. to school, drop, dropping her off at school. <laughs> so, but, so yeah, I guess Caesar. now now would be a good time if anybody has any branding related questions, maybe we should field a couple of those. Anybody? Everybody? I'm kind of monitoring the chat over here but it seems like there's a little bit of bickering going on come on children behave <laughs> but times a day i have to say that to y'all pot meat so, kettle 
Yeah, right, whatever. <laughs> I think overall the the logo is very unique. So I mean, uh, for me, obviously, I mean, I, I wouldn't find a confusion because I've been around since day one. But I mean, our our logo is completely unique and it's completely separate from the Eli Lilly one. So I'm, I mean, for me, I don't understand how the confusion would be. But you, you I mean, people look at things differently. Uh, legally, the confusion is uh, in the research that I saw is they filed trademarks in certain areas that if we filed or move forward, we wouldn't be able to even capture certain areas. And they do have healthcare kind of nailed down pretty well. But, you know, the research that the lawyers did, I can see, I, I've seen the backside of where we're looking and why we changed. So it's definitely comes down to category and where they're filed. You know, their names, they filed for so many years and that's it. So hundreds of things, 1500 plus, so. One day, one day we'll have that many patents filed. Not today. Um, I did see something pop up in the chat here that I want to address. Um, it's coming, people. I'm trying to get our guys in gear to get some merch going out there because uh, everybody wants it. I want it. I want some merch. You know, Brad's got the shirt. I don't got a shirt. So we're working on it. It's just, you know, we work with creative people on that and you know how they can be. Every color has to be just perfect. And, you know, it's not going to leave until they it gets their approval, but we are working on it. Um, so uh, anybody else got anything before we move on? And then we'll get to, we'll do some Q&A here towards the end. We've got a couple more things we want to address and, and then we'll do some Q&A. Um, nobody else has anything uh we did speak you know all of our departments work together um tech department and creative department we will have the new updated website 2.0 with the foundation website it will be up by the end of the week that's the, it will be up by launch is what they've been telling me or by by our launch party on friday night we're hoping to have it sooner uh, but they have guaranteed me that we will have it by the end of the week and and hopefully we get it as fast as possible and it will all be updated. Um, it's got a whole new look, whole new feel to it. It's going to be a lot more functional. Um, it's it going to say Lillian on it, right? Yes, it will say Lillian, but it will also be a place where you can go to get more information because right now it's just kind of static and it's just kind of there. Um, I, I myself as an old web designer, uh, prefer that the website be more functional than pretty, but we got to do pretty too. So it, it will incorporate facets of both. Form will follow function, but it will have a lot of function in there. So just to get that one out of the way, the website will be up by the end of the week. Web 2.0. Website 2.0, not Web 2.0. Sorry, I forgot. The sequel. The sequel, yes. Yes, the sequel. Um, so that's part of that. That's that's not part of the marketing that's our own internal stuff as for marketing the whole reason we have brad on this call right now is because he is running point with cody and with most of y'all have met steven and telegram um on the mar on the new marketing team so i'm gonna let you all take over on that one Yeah, I met with a lot of YouTubers today in and out of when I was getting my eyes fixed up today after that accident. Um, they're coming on board uh, after Wednesday. The marketing team has been creating content and they're unleashing it uh, as soon as they feel that it's uh, ready to go and they've caught up with their cache of their vault of content. It kind of they have to create to push. So that'll be a week ahead. Their schedules are pushing things into categories every week. So they wanted to have their calendars filled before they launch. Uh, I follow up with them again. A lot of that's going to be in TikTok. Some of it's going into a little bit of racing. Uh, a lot of it's going into the crypto community and the socials heavily. New influencers and in YouTube, of course, we're bringing in. Cody's got some things going on. We got some things going on at NFT, but that's I'm not going to categorize that as marketing. Um, everything's on track on our end. We're excited to see it go. It was with Jay and the foundation also had to be tied in with the branding launches. You got two 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 columns firing at the same time and there was a brand collaboration in the center the story and the narrative took a little longer than we thought but it's very beautiful work um and i can't wait to see it go and we did coordinate with the new branding <laughs> all right it just took a while the lawyer had to hold it up Right. 
So um, I guess we'll take, before I, I move on to what I think is one of the last topics I have, let me pull up my notes here. Um, this is something Brad and I have been talking about and working on. You know, we, we collected all of the emails from the launch issues that people might have had. And for the four or five people that email me three times a day wanting to know why they haven't gotten a reply, it's because we've addressed this. We're going to collect all the data, we're going to crunch all the numbers, and we're going to come up with a solution. Uh, Brad and I will be working um, throughout the course of this week to determine the approximate, or not the approximate, but the number uh, that we're going to do. But we are going to resolve launch issues and we're going to be airdropping the wallets. So look for an announcement coming to that. Yes, everybody can point and cheer and ha be happy. We are gonna airdrop for launch issues to make the issues go away because we want, we've done so well after that, just doing what we've, what we've set out to do, every step we're trying to hit, every mark we're trying to hit. Um, so we wanna rectify that. So Brad and I are working on this daily. Every day we're on the phone dealing with it. We're sharing screens, we're crunching numbers. Um, we're gonna get this taken care of. So look for an announcement coming probably middle of the week um, on what to expect and when to expect it. So I know um, everybody should be happy with that. All right, cool, it's in your corner now, buddy. All right, man. Well, given that said, you guys dropped a couple of bombshells on us, man. I am very excited for the future of what you guys hold for Lillian. Um, I'm very excited to hear that you guys are actually, uh, you know, have the plan rolling out and that you guys are going to be talking about this within the next week. So for all the people who are still fighting out there and who are still saying that this, this project and so and so on, um, I just want to let you guys know that now, you know, this is the last thing that was on the platter that, you know, you guys had ne something negative to say about Lillian. But now they're rectifying, you know, whatever happened during the launch. They're going to be doing the airdrop. So keep an eye out for that. Whoever submitted your emails. Um, now, uh, Barney, I know a lot of people submitted emails. Do you have any idea or if, if this is something you guys can discuss? What this qualifies them from being airdropped? A certain type of transaction, uh, the transaction not going through. Just a little bit more clarity on that for any anybody who's listening and probably questioning that. Okay, so we got... A, a fair number of emails and some of them were emails of you know i was the 310th buyer and i didn't get it at 12 zeros 485 or 458 you know and i, I get that you know it, new people new investment they don't they don't quite get that i'm not saying that was the bulk of it but there were a few in situations like that unfortunately there's nothing we can do to rectify that problem that's that's just the the, the luck of when you get in and what you buy it at. Unfortunately, it's not at that same price for the first 24 hours. Um, it, it, you know, it does go up and down. Um, we've, we've looked at, we're still going through all the different stuff, crypto on, on what was causing this, what was causing that. We see complaints of people putting in, or not complaints, we see um, descriptions of people that purchased X amount worth of ETH, but only got, you know, dollars worth of LY token on the value. I don't know. I'm still in the final phases of discovery on this. I'm not sure exactly what happened or how. Uh, that's what Brad and I are looking at figuring out over the next couple of days. And then once we get that figured out, then we've got our baseline. We've got our platform. We can throw all the number. We can throw all the people in there um, and start airdropping stuff out. But I've, I've still got about... Like 48 hours uh, worth of number crunching and every data analysis to do to figure out exactly what happened, how, and then to rectify it. Thank you for that, Barney. So what you're saying, just to clarify, is that my 12 zero buy is no longer going to be valid? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm just kidding. Man. Maybe if you try in the next five minutes or so. I mean, I'll, t I'll tell you what. Why don't you go try to buy a couple hundred dollars worth right now and tell me what you get that? I'll keep you posted. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and move on here to a couple of questions. So, Brad, we all know that Lily is the inspiration behind the Lillian brand, but what was the driving force that ultimately uh, that ultimately led you to create Lily Finance? The driving force to create Lily Finance is, I guess, the uh, the entrepreneur and business mind, and my mentors always mentored me in business through the years. Um, as Lily, you know, we struggled early on with medical, wrote a few books to help kids, you know, 
the driving force is my sheer ability, you know, to not to give up and quit on my own child or any kind of adversity. I've been through a lot of things in life, you know, both positive and negative, and then I'm surrounded by the, you know, the best people. Um, and it's, it's truly contagious to start something beautiful and, and give it to the world and have the best team kind of associate to it as you grow. Um, now, you know, the inspiration's reversed. I got the best people around me at all times, whether, you know, we have a good day or a bad day, and that kind of keeps me going now. But, and then watching the community develop and grow up too, um, I think the inspiration, I know my answer is long-winded, but Lily and I, at her birth, I watched a lot of kids pass away in the NICU, personally, right next to her, and it was tough to watch. You know, and that book we wrote, whether it's good or people agree with it or not, was only meant to keep families together. You know, it's kind of a surreal out-of-body experience to watch this company and this foundation do something positive to help a child through your own child's name. I mean, it's it's crazy, man. I mean, it's just look where we're at now. Look where we're at 12 years ago. I was sitting in a horrific situation wishing I could, you know, I said one day I kept thinking I'm always going to do, I'm going to do this for another family. Just keep them together. You know, the stress that I went through won't happen to another family, you know? So that was, you know, pay it forward kind of thing. And we recently did, Brad. So just for those of you who are in the chat and who don't know, we have had two successful surgeries already. In case you guys are not up to date on some of those, we have some videos at the Cool Crypto page as well. Uh, make sure that you guys are following Lillian Finance on Twitter. They are consistently updating us and giving us information on some of these surgeries as they're happening. So congratulations to you and your team, Brad. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next question. And feel free, this one is kind of like for everybody. So whoever wants to answer this one, feel free to do so. Um, we've heard so much about the medical blockchain and I know me, I know this more than anybody that there's things that you can't share or talk about. However, I know we recently saw you tweet about patents. Can you give us a high level vision of how you see Lillian medical blockchain utilized? I'm going to give you a high level of the architecting of this is taking time. And the reason why I tweet out is when I have a good day with legal on approach and, and where we're going. I like to kind of give the community, the community asked me for tidbits on Twitter. I try to put out what I'm thinking a little more every couple days of something serious on, from my point of view, uh, as, as the hub, as the, as the founder, as I'm going through these leadership positions of, of blockchain with not only global leaders in healthcare, with legal and with other governments, heads of governments, it is extremely hard to hold your tongue um, it is a very daunting task. We are, we are architecting and doing amazing things, not only on the foundation side of the use case, we got the bigger side of the blockchain itself and the forking and everything in, in and out of all that work is extremely exciting. So I'm trying to get a, what I can without kind of without filtering through a lawyer. But they want me to kind of button it up because it is very proprietary what we're working on. We're very proud of what we're working on. We do have a lead on some things we're working on that are very proprietary those provisionals are very important to us. And in, as far as a holder of Lily and Lillian, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> I, I tend to, I use the term, I, I use the phrase or in these meetings that we're still finding the glove. You know, I've always said that my vision of the, the, the blockchain was full encompassing medical information to where if something happens through an NFT or whatever, they can pull up your entire medical history down to the lot number that the gloves were produced at. I mean, that's how encompassing I see this being. So <clears throat> although we have our, our framework work in play for what we want to do, we're still gathering all the research on and all the, the processes that go into from the manufacturing of the glove to the glove that can used on you in the hospital. So, you know, it's much easier to spend the extra time to make sure that you're setting this up to collect all of the data that you want and instead of having to go back and do updates and patches and everything else. So while Brad's doing the legal side of it and he's dealing with the, the proposal writers and this, that, and the other thing, uh, we've got other guys over here with me that are um, taking Jay's use case example. This was, a, this was a perfect opportunity because Jay can tell you we, we have you know, HIPAA compliant, of course, but 
we get to see the full back end of how all the paperwork goes, how all the medical recording goes throughout the, the surgical process and everything like that. So it's so many different pieces working independently, but then coming together to build what we envision as being the medical standard on blockchain and how it can work in a DeFi industry. Without going nice. into much detail so that, you know, I don't get yelled at by legal again. <laughs> All right, and then there's a second part to my question. Um, given the acquisition of PANS, what can you share that will make the Lillian Medical Blockchain unique from other blockchains in the space? Mm, I'm, I'm going to say the first part of that question again. No problem. So given the acquisition of patents, what can you share that will make the Lillian Medical Blockchain unique from other blockchains in the space? In other words, how is the Lillian Blockchain going to differ from any other the Ethereum network blockchain? You know, what's going to make it a, um, a first of its kind industry leading blockchain? Okay, now this is where we have to tread very lightly. <laughs> That's a very pointed question. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, um, uh, Hold on. Now, I'm going to go pop some popcorn. I'm enjoying watching Barney uh, dance. Yeah, yeah. Been in here a little bit. Be a little nervous on this one. <laughs> um, Heat some up for me, Cody. Uh, like I said, you know, this is the envision. We envision <laughs> this also being. <laughs> Completely encompassing. I don't. Oh, I can't. I can't. I've got. I think. I think I'll answer it with this one. That because of our strength. Put your glasses on, Marty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll answer it with the strength in partnerships. Once it is built and, and tested and, and done, the strength in our partnerships will be unique because we're actually going to be able to roll this out. This is why we're building it with partnership. And there's three folks. So partnership is everything in relationships. It's it, you could build anything you want in the world, but it can you implement it inside of a healthcare system? Right. Well, that was a very safe. Answer. That's a bragging rights uh, issue. With the, <laughs> you really saved my butt on that one, man. Because uh, I mean, that's that the best so I can do to answer right now. What's the safe <laughs> let me let me put it like this, if I can, because this is very good, and just to kind of tack on to what Brad had to say, you could have a wallet full of monopoly money and you can go to the store. And if nobody's gonna accept that monopoly money, then it's worth monopoly money. What I believe, and Brad, please correct me if I'm wrong, what Brad is saying is by us going out and forming partnerships and creating the partnerships and, and relationships in the industry that will allow them to accept our particular monopoly money, that's going to increase the usability of the blockchain. That's going to allow us to apply all kinds of applications to it. There's a millions of things that we can and cannot do. We're not going to go ahead and throw it all out there and violate any potential patents or proprietary information that could be. But we're working very, very hard. And I'm very depressed that I didn't get to watch Barney do his verbal linguistics on this. <laughs> I was trying to figure it out. We're rooting for you, Barney. <laughs> <laughs> I'll survive. All right. So I got a couple more for you guys. So we, um, we're we definitely excited with where the crypto side of things are going. As you know, though, crypto is highly volatile. So what are unique opportunities that you see coming down the pipeline that you're excited to spur with the Lillian token? For example, you know people love staking. Is that something that we might see happening in the near future? Wait, wait, wait. Good job, Brad. And here we go again. Um, yes. Yeah, I'm just going to throw that one out there. Yeah, we're going to get into staking. We've got, within the next 60 days, We and, and I know 60 days seems like so far away for people, but again, this is a long-term project. To me, 60 days is tomorrow. Um, and within the next 60 days, you're going to see some really phenomenal programs rolling out internally. I mean, we're going to keep building on our partnerships with with Everrise and, and you know with the with the hospitals, but yeah, we we've got some really big plans coming out that I literally cannot divulge what they are right now. Darn it! I guess we'll have to wait till next time. But I can say yes. You you can look at staking in the future. Yes, very much so. Because that's okay, a big so is, it, for me. so is it cool if we ask every other week when staking? Sure, fine. <laughs> I seriously, ask because you never know. One of the weeks when you do ask it. I'm going to say yes and give you the answer and when and how. 
because that's actually that's going to be more fun for me. I'll just sit and hold on it until we are ready for it. And then somebody asks and they're like, oh, yeah, you know, while we're thinking about it, let's boom, do it right now. Just like we did with the locking of the contract the other day during the uh, Twitter spaces. Nice. Very uh, glad to hear that, Barney. I was looking forward to that answer. Thank you. All right. So moving on to the next one. So obviously you guys know we're, at the, we're in the dawn of a new era with NFTs, the metaverse, Web 3.0 just dominating the crypto space. Um, and these. We've had creative calls with amazing artists from the military side, from children's side, from overseas. I've had also got to speak and meet uh, Lily Fan Art today personally by myself on the phone in between going to the hospital. That was a great call. Um, we're going to work on rolling out the first Lily base. Baby NFT is on its own timeline. That will come out when when creative's done with the packaging side of that. It's a, it, they, I mean, the art piece is done, but they want to make sure it's packaged very, very professional. That'll come out on its own timeline. It's very soon. I, they're working on it. Awesome. As far as some of the art pieces, we're working on setting up a portal prior to a uh, site that we're working on developing. Um, and I don't have a timeline on the, I say a month and a half to two months on the minting site, but it is coming. So I did have a call with the folks involved. Um, it is a green light, it's just time. And that's a lot of coding in itself. It's not easy, but in the interim, we're gonna do some NFTs to, to drive funds to the foundation and get that ball rolling. We've had, Jay and I have spent countless times. I mean, you know, we've dropped names with other things. I'm not going to do it again tonight, but, you know, major people that have been in the news. Um, we've got amazing people stepping up art-wise and compiling them. Um, Cody's been in a few calls to help uh, me kind of, you know, to intake people and, and things. It's beautiful. So very excited to get it rolling. It's a lot of and information. And I've seen some of the work. I've seen some of the work that you guys are actually putting out now with the with the NFT. So the little spaceman, um, the life-size one, man, that. I don't know whoever thought of that, but that was genius, man. So the artist um, is a family friend of one of our devs, stepped up to do that piece in-house, a one-off. That that first inaugural Lily, baby Lily, space Lily, comes with a, a, you know, not only a piece of art you can hold and touch and it's big, but it has, a, you know, it's, it's it's also its value in its, uh, its uh, video side of what, that piece. It's very, very well done, top shelf. Um, Lily said she wanted it. I said, good luck bidding. <laughs> she keeps seeing it. I'm like, good luck bidding. That thing's gone. <laughs> Poor me. All right. So we're going to move on to the last two questions. I promise these are going to be short questions. Okay. Um, I lie. Actually this one, no, it's pretty long. So <laughs> giving everything that you guys have accomplished till this very moment, what are some of the things that both are currently uh, looking forward to with, I'm sorry, working with Lily finance? <laughs> Uh, how do you see these catalysts having an impact on the community? Well, from my standpoint, the impact on the community is from what we're doing uh, in conjunction with the foundation side is the emotional connection everybody can get from this. You know, there's not, I don't want to say there's not any other, but there's not a lot of other tokens out there like we are that have the the value that we carry with it. You know, you you buy a dollar's worth of LY token, that dollar, that value goes to a surgery. So, you know, you could say, yeah, I made $100 off of LY this weekend, but you can also sit there and say, I made $100 off of LY this weekend and I helped save a child's life. So for me and my standpoint, and I, I profess this in tw on Twitter and on Telegram, you all know what I'm about on this. For me, it's all about saving kids. I I didn't, I didn't have it as, as bad as Brad did with Lily when my youngest was born, but you know, we, we had a lot of complications in that too. And I have a grandson that's gone through multiple <laughs> left surgery. You know, I see what the parents go through, what I've gone through, what the friends went through. And anything I can do to make one family's life better, that's, that's, that's where I see the community aspect coming in and how it's better for them because they get to put their head on their pillow at night knowing that they help change somebody's life and you know if you make if y'all invest and make some money at the same time that's that's great I'm, I'm i'm happy for you that's what i want you to be able to do um but that's that's what i see catalysting on the community is 
the ability to know that we're doing good in the world. Yeah, I think I think my my answer to that is I'm excited to push the, the living, push the marketing as hard as I can from a founder's position to get that price action moving up and down. Because, uh, you know, marketing and, and price action, it's going to be a fun one to push this month in the next couple of weeks. And they're excited. I've, I've sat and had meetings with these owners, too, about how to build price action and get this moving for the community. You know, I know that was a sensitive topic last time. And I'm, I'm committed to, to doing it and getting it there for everybody. On top of also helping children, I'm excited, extremely excited for Catalyst in the foundation. The, the foundation has some of the funnest things going on and we're about to, Jay's about to drop them like hammers, man, they're coming. We've had meeting after meeting with these partners and now they're starting to roll out and these catalysts are huge. You know, I'm, I'm like looking, I, I got to go to a baseball game with my daughter this weekend to watch Boston lose their first major league game. And I'm thinking like the partners, like I see these signs and people, one of the icons was in the stadium. I'm like, that'd be awesome. You know, so Jay and Michelle have absolutely killed it on getting these kids help. There's so much logistics that, uh, just on that alone, just to get the children the help and then the surgery set up and the paperwork set up and the, you know, the film crew set up, you know, that film crew also cool crypto. We, that is coming out. We were just waiting for that little brand change on the front of that video. So. Amazing stuff, guys. Um, you guys are doing some amazing things, and we talk about this on a consistent basis. I just have one question for you guys. Uh, before we go ahead and finish off this AMA, or before you guys want to go ahead and add or close this off, I have one important question for you all. How much do you guys love cool crypto? Cool crypto. Proud of you, man. You've done a good job. I love you, man. I, you know, we talk you know, on Twitter text a couple times whatnot I, I love the fact that you're as excited about this project as we are and dude i retweet all the stuff you put out there i want you know i don't have a whole lot of followers i think i've got like 1400 followers on twitter so i'm like a wee speck of nobody but i want everybody that's not following cool crypto totally has to go do it um, if he were any kind of a real mod, he'd already have his link out there in the chat 20 different times to go subscribe to him. Um, <clears throat> That's okay. We'll get him trained. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll work it. No, I, dude, it, it's, you're a really good example of what this community is about. You know, you see what the intrinsic value of it is. You see how we're affecting lives and that, that drives you to go out and say all the positive things that you have to say about us, even if we screw up, which we're going to screw up, you know, we're people, we're people driving the machine, but we're, we'll fix our mistakes. But, you know, you are a great example of what this community is. You're, you're not afraid of it. You're not afraid to get out there, put your face out there and say, I love Lily and financial. This is what we're doing. So much love for cool crypto. Jay, you got anything Thank you want you to Thank you, guys. Leave? I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, real quick, the foundation, we're just uh, we're really stoked. It's going to be a huge week. The, the 501 is established. We've got our first board coming up. Um, our board consists of medical professionals, military professionals, uh, people from the finance side. Uh, very serious. So we're taking this very serious, saving lives and, and creating amazing partnerships, which are about to be... Uh, broadcast out to you when stealth promotes their video when it goes out to you know msnbc cnn fox news whomever else it, it's going to be it's going to blow up we have professional athletes we have actors we have professional musicians we have uh, a lot of people pursuing us we don't have to market this because everybody sees the value in what we're trying to do as do you in this community we really thank you for all that we thank you cool for being our spokesman initially up front because uh, what we're doing is very serious business people, and uh, we take this very seriously. And the, the partnerships that we're establishing and the funds that we're going to raise are going to save countless lives. We've already saved two in just two months of our existing, so we're very proud of that. That's just the very beginning. Uh, we're going to see massive things on the NFT side. Uh, we're going to be in the event metaverse. We're going to create player cards for each one of our kids doing surgeries. We're going to have a player card series for each one of them, and part of the proceeds are going to go towards a 529 to fund their college. We're doing amazing things like that. That's just the tip of the iceberg. I can't wait to show you once we really get full round and get going 
You're going to be excited to see what your money is doing and the difference you're making. And we're honored to represent you. Appreciate it. Maybe like six months, 12 months, 18 months from now, when all these things we've been working on have been rolled out and we look back on this AMA and be like, man, they couldn't say anything, but look what's happened. So I, that is also a thing that excites me. But also you said something, Barney, that I kind of want to reiterate on. We're going to make mistakes, guys. Oh, yeah. We are human. We are going to screw okay. some things up. That's not the point. The mistakes are the process. Yep. Understand we're learning as we go as well. We're going to try and stay as transparent as humanly possible about it. We're going to own it and we're going to learn from those mistakes. So that's that's what I wanted to hit on right there. And you brought up a valid point, Cody, because as long as you guys are owning it, the community is going to respect you um, 100% and they're going to back you up 100% because everybody makes mistakes. But when you try to go around it um, and you try to present it as something else, that's when you're going to start to lose the community. So continue doing what you're doing. On that note, for me, I just want to thank everybody for having me here. I want to thank everybody who's in the comment section, everybody who stays engaged in the Telegram, Twitter, um, everybody who's a supporter of the Lillian Finance community. I want to give a special shout out though to Lori and Luis Crypto Bolts because uh, the minute that I spoke to Barney and I said I was coming on the AMA, I didn't disclose it to anybody. Um, I was asking them individually, like, hey, you know, what are some of the questions you guys think we should ask in the next AMA? Because I kind of wanted to get some of the some of uh, some questions from the inside, from the investor side side point. You know what I'm saying? Um, not just my point, because I can give you t 10 questions altogether right now, what I think should be asked. But I thought also it was important of what the community would want to ask on their end as well. And, and they already know as well, we've mentioned it various times in the Twitter spaces that they're more than welcome to come up and ask those questions. You guys have been very welcoming to that. You guys have even been mentioned at various times in the Twitter spaces. Hey, our DMs are available. If you guys have any questions, you guys are more than welcome to ask. And you know what? That's one of the things that I always say whenever somebody's out there fighting, I say, well, have you DM the, the developers? They, they usually say no. So uh, that's usually how I smash that one out. But thank you guys for making yourselves available. And once again, you know, I, I'm here for the community. If you guys have any questions, uh, you guys can always DM me as well. Awesome. I'll jump in some spaces. If anybody's doing a post spaces, I'll try to jump in them. Yep. Guys, thanks for doing this. Thanks for joining us for our first of what I'm hoping to be a regular series of video AMAs where, you know, you guys kind of get a feel of what we're doing and you get an opportunity to come up with a list of questions and we're going to keep using cool crypto. Um, I've reached out to another one of our homegrowns, Mr. Kryptonian. Um, he, he's out there doing videos for us as well. We get, get a little exposure for him. Um, you know, we're, we're going to keep doing these and, you know, be, bring people on from the community to talk and be a part of this because, you know, we're nothing without you guys. So thanks for joining us, man. This is this has been great. And I look forward to doing these a lot. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Have Thank a great you, everybody. Evening, everybody. And of course, you know, you can catch me and Cody and Telegram or on Twitter. So if you got anything, please do not hesitate to send Cody a message. Or me too, when Barney teaches me how to use social media. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. We're out. Thank you. All right, people. Um, well, nothing um, crazy come out. Like I said earlier today, they said um, uh, this Friday they gonna be listed. Um, Probit, Probit is like uh, rank like um, eighty six exchange, like number eighty six. Um, what else? Um, they change the name from Lily to Lillian. Um, due to a trademark issue, there's a there's a other company that called Elan Lilly. That's a medical company too, so they didn't want to run into legal issues. So they just like, bam! So they went and just changed it to Lillian. 
right, so this Friday, like I said, they're going to launch on Probit. They're going to keep a launch party. They're going to send out a link, and anyone can up on and talk if they want to. And for the most part, I mean, um, no new partnership mentioned yet. No, um, one thing they mentioned is that the giving, um, this site right here, the giving, um, for the Lillian giving, they said this site should be coming out, should be out by Friday before they, before they launch and, um, pro bit. So we're going to see what this site is really about once they up, once they, um, they put it out. And pretty much, I mean, pretty much that's it, man. So anyway, if, again, if you're new to the channel, go ahead, subscribe, turn on bell notification, drop a comment if you want to, and catch you all next time. Peace. And also, this is the YouTube channel. I put in the link. So I think they said they got to be doing, they be, they're going to be going out of the YouTube channel for most of the time when they do amen and stuff so they like said a youtube channel right here in the link so you can check it out and subscribe to them so when they do an ama y'all get notification all right peace